What's up guys, today we're going to be looking at one of the cheapest 2-in-1 laptops that you can get. Uh, it's currently going on Best Buy for $159, uh, so this is one of the cheapest ones that's running full Windows, not the watered down version, it runs full applications, so I want to check it out and see what it could all do. Now diving into the hardware, uh, it's really nice and very sturdy, it uh, feels like uh, brushed aluminum and uh, it's got a really nice design, very pretty, uh, very understated, uh, so I really like the design on here. If you look around the hardware, you do have a USB port, a micro SD card a slot, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and you also have the power button and the volume rockers. Now the keyboard does come with a USB uh, which is pretty awesome so you can connect external devices. The screen is not the highest resolution, it's a 10.1 inch wide screen 1280 by 800 so it's really just a 720p display uh, but it does have great uh, viewing angles. It is an IPS display and it gives off some pretty decent color. I wish it was just a little uh, bit higher resolution. It does have a quad core Atom processor so this laptop does play Netflix uh, really smoothly and it runs through Windows OS uh, very smoothly. Also also, which I was really impressed with. So since this is a 32-bit operating system, uh, you can't play games like Fortnite and stuff like that. It requires 64-bit. So I was able to test it out on the PS4 uh, with PlayStation Remote Play, uh, which is pretty awesome. Uh, you have to have a decent connection, but uh, this does work. It just shows that uh, if you have a good connection, you can even play games on this guy uh, from the cloud. They have cloud services. Uh, NVIDIA G. Uh, now GeForce Now and stuff like that are really great options if you want to do a little bit of gaming on here. Now this tool in one was able to run FO Studio uh, which is really awesome so if you're interested in making beats and music and stuff like that then you can definitely do it on this laptop. So overall this is a surprisingly really good uh, little 2-in-1 laptop so this is great for a college student or anything like that. Uh, it definitely gets the job done. The keyboard is surprisingly really nice to type on if you don't have really big hands uh, you won't have a problem with this guy. So overall my experience was uh, pretty well with this guy. I have to say my only gripe with this laptop is that the battery life probably will get you through a day depending on what you're doing uh, but if you're doing like casual gaming video watching uh, then you might want to bring a power bank or something like that around or have the charger around uh, so that's pretty much it thanks for watching this video guys and i will see you guys in the next one